How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Uncharted, directed by Ruben Fleischer and starring Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. A young Nathan Drake, played by Holland, is currently working as a flair bartender slash con artist in New York. He is approached by Victor Sullivan, played by Wahlberg, known to his friends as Sully, to track down the long-lost treasure of Ferdinand Magellan. And while he's reluctant at first, Drake eventually teams up with Sully and they go on their grand treasure hunting adventure. And along the way, they must contend with other treasure hunters, some friendly, or friendly-ish, and some not-so-friendly. Not even-ish. This is based on the video game series of the same name, and was at least partially inspired by Uncharted 4. Um, also, one major action sequence is taken directly from Uncharted 3. I did recently play Uncharted 4, thank you PlayStation Plus, and enjoyed it quite a bit. So far, it's the only game in the series I've had a chance to play, but I had a lot of fun with it, and I was kind of looking forward to the movie. Then I saw it, and the anticipation set in. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad movie, but it doesn't work all that well as an Uncharted adaptation. It feels like they took a very safe route in adapting the games, and the end result is just a very generic adventure movie. There are a few bits that are incorporated from Uncharted 4. We get the flashbacks to Nate's childhood along with his brother Sam. The auction house sequence is a part of the movie as well, although this time it takes place in New York instead of Italy, and it just isn't as exciting without that exotic locale. The treasure they're looking for is on an old ship, not exactly a pirate ship in this version, but still. And there is that action sequence you've seen in the trailers that is taken from Uncharted 3, which leads to a very funny Nolan North cameo, who was the voice of Nathan Drake in the games. So they were definitely trying to adapt from the games, but compared to the games, the movie just feels watered down. I think the two biggest problems with this movie are, sadly, Holland and Wahlberg. And it's not that they aren't fine actors, they are, but... They are woefully miscast here. With Holland, I understand that they were going for kind of a young Nathan Drake, like this is sort of a prequel to the games, although if that's the case, I'm not sure why they were adapting the most recent game in the series, but I mean, I, I see bits of Nathan in him, but not really enough. Honestly, I think Tiernan Jones, who plays young Nathan in the flashbacks, did a much better job portraying Nathan Drake than Tom Holland did. And Wahlberg just does not feel like Sully at all. Really, it just seems like he's playing himself. And the relationship between the two just does not work. For one thing, there's not a lot of chemistry between them. And for another, Sully was supposed to be like a father figure and mentor to Nathan Drake. And in the movie, he's just kind of a prick. And I don't think this is a case of bad acting on Wahlberg and Holland's part. It's really just a case of poor directing and miscasting. The only other character from the games who is in the movie is Chloe Fraser, who's played by Sophia Ali, and unfortunately I can't really comment on how accurate her portrayal is to the game because I haven't played any of the games she's in, but for what it's worth her performance was fine. I don't believe any of the villains in this movie were in the games. We have Antonio Banderas as this guy named Santiago, who is this rich bastard and ancient artifact collector who is also after the treasure of Magellan. And he was fine. And working for Santiago is Tati Gabriel as Joe Braddock. And this character felt a bit inconsistent to me. She starts out the movie talking very much like a cartoon villain, but as the movie goes on, she actually starts to resemble a real person. And without giving too much away, there is something that happens with her character and Santiago toward the end of the movie that just comes out of nowhere and really does not feel earned. Another problem I have with the characters is some of them are built up as if they are going to be major players throughout the movie, but then by the time we get to the third act, some of them are either barely there or just not there at all. It almost feels like the third act was taken from a completely different script. The action sequences are at least competently done. It's not at all surprising that the best one is the one taken directly from the games. And we do have some exotic locales, though I would not say they are used to their full potential. I mean, there is literally a fight sequence that takes place in Barcelona in a Papa John's. Like an actual Papa John's restaurant of all the places you could have had an action sequence in Spain. 
you put it in an American pizza chain. I mean, I know you gotta make that product placement money, but come on. And I felt the comedic moments missed more often than they hit, and really they just felt forced. There's this weird gag early on involving a cat that comes out of nowhere, goes nowhere, and then disappears back to the nowhere from whence it came. There's also a bit in the auction house scene where Drake runs into one of the villain's goons, and he's this big Scottish dude, and he starts yelling something at him, and then Drake acts very confused, like he can't understand what the guy is saying because his accent is too thick. But the problem with that is his accent was not that thick. Like, the joke completely does not work. I mean, I am terrible at understanding accents. If I could understand what the guy was saying just fine, it ain't that thick. So that is Uncharted, and I think the best way to call this is decent movie, bad Uncharted movie. I can't really recommend paying money to see this in a theater, though it might be worth a rental. I can recommend playing Uncharted 4 if you have a PlayStation 4 or 5 to play it on, because that is a lot of fun. More fun than the movie. And that's all I got to say about Uncharted. Till next time, take care.